Hey everyone, it's Adam. I have a PSA out there for anyone using MixEffect or MixEffect Pro running an iOS 16 or iPadOS 16 device. There seems to be a bug in Xcode 15.4. Now Xcode is the application that developers use to make apps on Apple platforms. And Xcode 15.4 seems to introduce a bug where shortcuts and app intents don't work on previous versions of iOS and iPadOS. Let me give you a quick demo. So here I have a 2015 iPad Pro. On the left, we have Mix Effect uh, that was built using Xcode 15.4, so the most recent one. And on the right, we have Mix Effect Pro running uh, or that was built using Xcode 15.2, which was two versions ago. So I'm going to run a quick shortcut here, and I'm going to run this one called ME test. And it basically what it's going to do, it's going to change the import sources. It's just going to perform a cut operation. So we can take a look at the shortcut here, perform cut operation. And we see that when I push play, that hub and ATEM get switched because I'm just switching between the two inputs. Everything seems to work, right? So now I'm going to run this exact same shortcut targeting mix effect that was built using the latest version of Xcode 15.4. The exact same shortcut, I'm going to run that. Oop, oh, the action cut could not run because an internal error has occurred. So let's take a look at Xcode and see what's happening here. We get an error in Xcode saying, could not find an intent with identifier cut intent, mangled type name optional. Now, if we take a look at the extract action data, which is a file that Xcode builds and creates for your application, we see something interesting here. Mangled type name here has a value in when built using Xcode 15.2. But in Xcode 15.4, it has no value. It's an empty string. Now, it's interesting to note that there is another mangled type name, V2, right here, um, that has a name there. And in the Xcode 15.4 version, it also has the same name. So I suspect that what's happening is that uh, there's a bug in Xcode 15.3 and 15.4 where it's not properly filling out the mangled type name variable. And then when run on previous versions of iOS and iPadOS, uh, shortcuts is looking for that mangled type name. It's not looking for a mangled type name V2. And because it's finding an empty string, it says, I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to raise an error. So I was uh, alerted to this by our user of MixEffect. And I was able to confirm the problem and come up with a workaround, a temporary workaround for him via a special test flight build. But I'm looking into rebuilding the applications using a previous version of Xcode. Hopefully Apple will still allow those to be submitted. Um, it's still within the Xcode 15 kind of a version. So I think it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and hopefully though, the long-term solution is for Apple to fix this bug. So to anyone on the shortcuts or Xcode team, when you build that extract.actions data file in the XC archive, please be sure to put in the correct values for the mangled type name. And then I think uh, the shortcuts will work again on iOS 16 and iPadOS 16. App developers, if you've encountered this problem or fielded user reports about shortcuts not working on previous versions of iOS and iPadOS, be sure to file a feedback with Apple. I posted a link to the feedback ID that I submitted to Apple down below. So be sure to reference that when filing your own feedback. At any rate, that's my PSA. Again, users of Mix Effect and Mix Effect Pro on iOS 16, iPadOS 16. Uh, sit tight, I will come up with a fix soon. Or if you can upgrade to iPadOS 17 or iOS 17, please do so. But I do understand that there are devices that are running Mix Effect that cannot be upgraded past either iOS 15, iPadOS 15, or 16. So uh, I don't want you to buy a new device, but I want you to continue using your existing device um, but sit tight. I'll get that bug fixed soon. Anyway, hope this helps. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.